After that romantic setting, we visit a place which has far grimmer associations, Dartmoor. Yet most people would be surprised at the strange quality of beauty on the moor, a cold, aloof beauty perhaps, but one that isn't lost on the people who live and work here. At Postbridge, for example, in the middle of the moor, John Bellamy, the postmaster, wouldn't exchange his round for one anywhere else. It's a hard life, but a satisfying one. John, a very durable 62, does his round on horseback. And to Tinker, his eight-year-old cob who was bred on the moor, must fall the distinction of being one of the few horses left in the world who are kept for delivering mail. Mr. Bellamy, official number PB2, visits the homes and farms on his 10-mile route once a day, six days a week, all the year round in all weathers. And crossing Dartmoor in a blizzard, for example, is no joyride. One of the advantages of a lonely round like this is the friendship of the local people. People like Miss Calloway. You can see too why Tinker likes his job. Another advantage, at least in good weather, is the exhilarating freshness of the country air and of the normal everyday charms of nature that country folk appreciate so much. seven of the farms along the route, John has to remember to shut the gate behind him to prevent cattle straying. Most of them he knows by sight, like young honeysuckle here, and if you think that's a funny name for a cow, the name of the farm is Laughter Hole. If there's no mail to deliver, John goes out just the same. There may be something to collect, and if there's not, ah well, he likes the job. 